Welcome to the first in a series of webinars designed and prepared specifically for the homeowner builder addressing Title 24 Part 6 Energy Compliance Requirements. My name is Dave Morgan and I'm a certified energy analyst providing Title 24 energy calculations and support to private homeowners and the general construction industry for the last 30 years. This series is provided as a courtesy of Pacific Modern Homes and my company, Red Tape Express. It is our hope that this series will provide the homeowner with a better understanding of the requirements necessary to successfully navigate the requirements for Title 24 Part 6 and get you through the building permit and the construction process with the least amount of confusion possible. The energy standards have evolved and expanded over the years and now compose more than 250 pages of regulations and over 1500 pages of manuals, forms, and supporting documentation. Navigating the energy standards can appear to be a disorganized puzzle with many unknown and confusing parts. Sometimes it's just confusing as to what applies to your home and what doesn't apply. And how are you going to get through the process of making the building department happy and secure the occupancy permit to your home? There are many pieces to the puzzle. Some of them appear to fit well into the standards. And every once in a while we run into a part where it just doesn't seem to fit correctly. The hope in the series is that we'll provide you with the information so that you can fit the pieces into the proper locations and make your job easier to complete. In fact, with all the disorganization, what we really find is that Title 24 is a very organized puzzle. It has evolved over the years, and there are many integrated parts that apply throughout the standards. This is a very cohesive process if you understand all of the pieces. However, it can be very frustrating for the first-time user. The hope is that this webinar will provide you with information you need in order to successfully navigate the permit system and complete your project. The first step in successfully completing this process is to begin with the building permit. All new homes must include at least one special inspection to meet the new energy requirements. And in most cases, four special inspections will be required. At a minimum, Indoor air quality ventilation will need to be tested. This is to ensure adequate air is moving through the house at all times. In addition to this basic requirement, most houses will need to have the duct leakage tested, verify that there is minimum airflow from the air conditioning system, and that the air conditioning system does not exceed the maximum fan wattage requirements. All four of these tests must be completed by a HERS rater. HERS stands for Home Energy Rating System. This is a special requirement established by the California Energy Commission. And there are a whole series of requirements that HERS raters must follow. The HERS raters are trained and certified by HERS providers and the HERS providers are approved by the Energy Commission. All energy calculations that require special inspections must be placed on a HERS register and electronically signed by the energy consultant and the homeowner builder or general contractor. For the purpose of this webinar series, we will assume that the homeowner builder is signing everything. However, if a general contractor is involved, many of these tasks can be assigned to the general contractor. Currently, the California Energy Commission has only approved CalCERTs as the HERS provider for new construction. You can reach their website at http www.calcerts.com. Now let's just step through the process that's involved. The registration process is fairly simple. It begins with the preliminary drawings and options you have developed with Pacific Modern Homes. This information is shared with your energy consultant who completes the energy calculations and then places them on the CalCERTS registry. Once the documents are on the CalCERTS registry, they will be electronically signed by both the energy consultant and the homeowner. After they are electronically signed, 
A final set of energy calculations can be downloaded and submitted to the building department with the required watermark. Without the necessary watermark, the building department will not accept the energy calculations at the building department, so completing the registration process online is absolutely critical for successful submittal to the building department. The electronic signature process is fairly simple. The homeowner builder must be registered with CalCERTS in order to electronically sign the energy calculations. Registration is simple. It's completed online and there are no fees involved on the part of the homeowner to complete this process. However, the homeowner must have a valid email address in order to complete the registration. Now, CalCERTS will issue the homeowner builder a username and a password. These will arrive in an email. Please keep them safe. They will be needed not only to electronically sign the energy calculations, but as a homeowner builder, you will need the same information to go online and complete a whole series of installation certificates that are required during the construction process. Step one for securing electronic signature is that the energy consultant uploads the energy calculations to the CalCERTS registry. The homeowner builder then logs into the CalCERTS registry and electronically signs the energy calculations. The energy consultant pays the fees and prepares the final documentation and the drawing sheets necessary for the building department. The energy calculations and the drawing sheets are then added to the permit drawings and submitted to the building process. We will go in detail through each one of these steps in subsequent webinars, but just bear in mind this is a very simple process, but it must be completed online. If you have any questions about this overview, please give me a call. Again, my name is Dave Morgan. My company is Red Tape Express. Feel free to uh, call our office or send us an email if you have any questions at all.